Hey, this is Alan with GameLock Remixes, and I'm here presenting a kind of recap for the first year of GameLock Remixes. Um, for those of you that don't know, this channel turns one year old as of tomorrow. So I'm making this video kind of preemptively for a couple of reasons, um, but I'll get to that later. First of all, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all you fans and musicians and creators who have really shaped what GameLock Remixes has become. Um, I've gotten to talk to a lot of cool, talented people from all around the world, and I met some of them at MAGFest, which was a lot of fun, and I'll get to that later as well. But I just wanted to say thank you to anyone that's watched the video or left a comment, and I think you guys, I think you all get it. You all get that there's a real passion for not only video games, but music as well, and the video game music community is a growing one, I think, and trust me, after going to MAGFest and seeing... You know, a thousand to two thousand people watch Family Jewels play on stage, and watch five five thousand plus people watch Ninja Sex Party play live. It, there's a definite desire there. I think there's a growing attention. I think on this community, and that, that there's a lot of exciting things that are happening, including some other you know um, collective albums like Materia Collective. And, you know, OC Remix has been going on for a long, long time. And, you know, Game Chops has just come out recently. So I'm hoping that Game Arc Records will kind of fit in there somewhere as well. Um, and I guess that's really the next thing I wanted to talk about is the creation of Game Arc Records. And unfortunately, the first album had some trouble with licensing, as you all know. But the next album, Supersonic, is coming out very soon. And I will have a video with more information on that very, very soon, as in this week. So I hope you look forward to that. Um, got some new artists on there and some old artists. But Game Mark Records is, I think, going to really shape up this year. And it's going to hopefully start to gain some traction in Steam as more people become aware of what we're trying to do um, with, with Game Mark Records, which is to provide quality music for video game fans and, you know, kind of create a community of artists that support each other. So anyways, um, you, you all know about Game Luck Records. I've talked about it forever. And uh, finally, I just wanted to touch on MAGFest, which just happened two weeks ago. A week? No. Two weeks ago. Um, two, two weeks ago, Thursday through Sunday, February 18th through the 21st. Um, you may have seen me on Twitter pretty active the first two days, but you didn't probably see very much on the third day, which was Saturday. And that's because I got sick. Yeah, I don't know what I caught. All I know is that I had a fever and I was really having a tough time because I missed a Grant Kirkhope panel, a Q&A panel, and I really wanted to be there, but I felt awful and I ended up going home because I didn't feel like doing anything at all. And I'm glad I did because I had a fever of 104 on Sunday, which is the day after I left. So clearly my body had caught something. But anyways, point is I have a ton of MAGFest footage and I'll be going through that and putting up the footage on this channel. However, because of my, you know, getting sick and everything and trying to get back into work, I haven't had a chance to go through it, really. Um, there's a plenty of MAGFest videos out there, though, if you want. One of my favorites is Donut Drums. Um, he has a video up. It's like a 46-minute video, and it's his journey to MAGFest. It's really comprehensive. And you get to see some of the jams, and you get to see a little bit of Family Jewels set. Um, and I have... I have some videos that will coming be coming out. I'll have the full Family Jewels set, or more or less the full set. Um, the Super Smash Opera, the panel with Toxic X Eternity, Family Jewel 7X, um, Thunder Scott, Rashadi B. And I know I'm missing somebody. Jonathan Young, did I already say him? I don't know. You'll see. I have the full panel up. It was a um, YouTube cover artist panel. And, uh, and then I have a couple jam videos that I recorded as well. And one interview with uh, DJ Cutman. So look forward to that. I'm sorry. It's I wish I could get it to you a little bit sooner, but what are you going to do? Anyways, uh, and finally, I wanted to, not only do I just want to say thank you, I want to show my thanks to you all for watching my videos and supporting the channel. And I know you all talk about it and a couple people have shared it with their friends. Um, in fact, that's how I think quite a few people came to know it is originally Eric Project Genesis shared it in the VG covers, I think, community. So anyways, stuff like that, that's where it really matters. You know, where you show somebody an interview or you say, hey, check out this channel. It's pretty cool. If you're an up and coming VGM artist, this is a great place to be or talk with Alan or whatever. You know, as always, I appreciate any feedback any song suggestions, 
any channel suggestions, I'm always on the lookout for new talent. So um, as, a, as a way of saying thank you, I wanted to create the Game Lark Challenge. <laughs> I know it sounds so corny, but I know it sounds really corny, but let me explain. Okay. So as I said, as of tomorrow, the channel will turn one year old. And I wanted to think of a way, a, not a pretty big way of saying thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a challenge where there's a couple different ways to enter the challenge, okay? And it's a little bit tricky because it's it's a little bit involved. The whole goal of Game Lock Remix is, as you know, is to expand and bring attention to the VGM community. So I think what is a better what better way to do that than to get new blood into the VGM community? And that means this. In order to be eligible for this challenge, these are a couple ways you can do it, okay? One if you're watching this video and you don't have a channel and you don't make video game covers, you can create a channel or you can do your first video game cover to enter this challenge, okay? So you don't have, you either don't have a channel or you've never done a video game cover on your channel, whatever it might be, whether it's Let's Play or a music channel, doesn't matter, vlog, doesn't matter. You've got the whole month of March, the whole month, to make one cover and use the hashtag GameLarkChallenge. And I'll put that up on the screen so you can see what it is. And that's just to help me filter and find stuff. So use Game Mark Challenge, then you'll be entered into it, the contest. Okay, but again, you have to be a channel that has never done it, never done a VG, a VG cover, or you have to create a brand new channel. Okay, the second option, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. In addition to just doing it on your own, say you've been making video game covers for a while, and say you have friends that are also into music, but they don't do video game covers. If you convince someone else to make a cover, you're also eligible for this challenge. And that's because there's a max prize of two games that are going out. And I'll explain which games at the end. So if you just do it on your own without anybody suggesting it to you, you just get a game. If you help someone else or motivate someone else to create a cover, then each of you will be getting a, a brand new game in, in return. So that means you can, if you have a friend that just does I don't know, regular pop covers, and you say, hey, man, you should check this out. Why not try making a VG cover? Bam, you're both entered. Okay. And then finally, this is for everybody that has a lot of friends who are already making video game covers. Um, there's a collaboration opportunity. So it's a little bit trickier with collabs because I want you to collaborate with somebody that does not have a channel that's like primarily dedicated to VG covers. Okay, so I know collaboration is great, and that's there's... There's plenty of collaborations already going on in the community. What I want is for you to collaborate with somebody who either doesn't doesn't have, like doesn't normally do video game covers, they might already have a YouTube channel but they don't do covers, or they may not even have a YouTube channel. You bring them in for a collaboration, and I wanna say, I won't have any hard and set rules, but it's gotta be at least like 50% of the work. They have to be in at least 50% of the song. I don't want you bringing in your you know, brother or sister and have them hitting a triangle and then saying, oh, look, I collaborated with somebody. It's kind of, I want you to have involved them in the musical process. I want you to get them involved in arranging and performing a video game cover. So those are the three ways to do it. Either one, you just do it on your own, Two, you help motivate someone else to start a cover, either start a cover channel or just to do a one-off cover. Or three, you can collaborate with somebody. And I'll work out all the finer details. Um, you know, obviously, I'm going to need some verification. If you do motivate someone to make a cover, you can't just pick someone off the internet and be like, oh, this person just made a cover or this channel just got created. I'm going to take credit for it and whatever. I want some verification that whoever you've motivated actually indeed was motivated by you. But... We'll get to those details later. For now, those are the three ways to win. And the prize is going to be um, one of two choices. Either the new Star Fox Zero game for the Wii U or Uncharted um, 4. And if you have an Xbox One, we'll, we'll sort that out later. But those are the two games that I'm, I'm advertising as the, the prizes for this challenge. One or the other. And as I said, there is a potential for two games to go out. If you do something, I'll use an example. Um, Ro, Swiggles RP, recently convinced a friend of his, Ryan Lafford, who actually met at MAGFest, he's a pretty fun guy, to start making covers and putting them up on YouTube. And he did this about a month ago. So that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. 
Ro had been pushing him and pressuring him for a long time, apparently, and annoying him until the point where he broke and started putting up stuff on YouTube. And not surprisingly, it's fantastic. So you should go and check out Ryan Lafford's channel. And that's that's the spirit that I want to create is I want people to involve other people. It doesn't have to be friends. It can be relatives. It can be anybody. Just involve people who aren't aware of this community. Involve them in the community somehow. And that's basically it. When the games come out, I will have the game shipped to you or to you and your friend or you and whoever if you did a partnership, collab, whatever. And I think that's about it. If you all have any more questions about the challenge or, I don't know, life in general, <laughs> feel free to send me a question on anything but YouTube messaging. As most of you know, that's a huge pet peeve of mine. I don't like YouTube messaging. So Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube comments but not YouTube messaging. And I will, like I said, I will have a Game Lark Records video up this week and it will reveal some information about the album. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.